It's been a minute since I've done an air fryer recipe. Well, I've got two for you today, so stick around. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan, and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, I'm a plant-based RN, and I follow the Start Solution. I've been following the Start Solution since January of 2020, and I was able to lose 15 pounds eating this way. If you'd like more information on the Start Solution, I will leave a link to Dr. John McDougall's book, The Start Solution, in the description box below. On my channel, you're going to find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes, no oil, and gluten-free. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video, which is every Tuesday and Saturday. And for more plant-based content, be sure to follow me on Instagram at ChewOnVegan. If you're new to this way of eating, or maybe you've been doing it a while, but you've been struggling, I started a Facebook group, and there you will find a great group of like-minded people, and you will find recipes, inspiration, and support. And if you're still not convinced that a plant-based diet is right for you, I created a quick little e-guide that describes the benefit of a plant-based diet. And be sure to sign up for my newsletter. It comes out every other month and I cover different topics. Some are from a nursing perspective. You'll find recipes, tips, and tricks. And I will leave the link to all these resources in the description box below. As I said in the intro, I'm gonna be making an air fryer recipe. I'm actually making two of them and they're going to be two different kind of fry recipes. I don't know about you, but I love fries in the air fryer. They're low fat, low calorie density, and they just taste so good. And these are gonna be a little bit different, so let's get started. So I'm going to start with just good old russets. You could use Yukon Golds, you could use red, whatever kind of potatoes you want. I prefer the russets for fries. And I've just washed them, and then we're just gonna cut them into fry shape. And then we're going to put them in this bowl, season them up, and we'll get them in the air fryer. But first, let me just show you how I cut them up. Oh, and I wanted to show you, if you put one of these sill pats underneath your cutting board, it won't move. I just learned that this morning from Will Your World. Thanks, Dylan. I appreciate it. So, free little hack there for you. All right, moving on. So I just cut the end off and then I just start cutting them and you just want to do them the thickness that you like. I'm usually good with about like this. And then just make little sticks. And in the bowl they go. Now if you have one of those little french fry makers then they're going to be all perfectly even but I don't have one so I just use a knife. So I'm just going to finish cutting up these two potatoes. So we've got our fries all cut up and you want to try to make them basically the same size so they cook evenly. And if you hear some banging or knocking, it's because it's super windy outside and the wind is knocking my shade outside against the window. So that's what that is. So I apologize for that, but there's not much I can do about the wind. And then we're going to season these up with this pizza seasoning by Frontier. This is not a sponsored video, but I love the pizza seasoning. I also like the Fiesta seasoning, which I'll be using in the next recipe. So we're just going to put this on our potatoes and be generous. And this has, um, I'll read you the ingredients here, onion, bell peppers, fennel seed, oregano, garlic, basil, chili peppers, parsley, thyme, marjoram and celery. So really nice combo of pizza seasonings here. And you can use it to make actual pizza too. So we're just gonna mix these around, make sure that all the potatoes are coated. If you feel like it needs some more, then that's when you can add some more. And then I'm just gonna air fry these at 400 for about 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna show you how I finish these off. So in they go into the basket. And I like to give them a good little shake and make sure they're pretty much in a single layer. Some of them may overlap and that's fine. And like I said, 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. I will shake them halfway through to make sure that they are evenly brown. And that's it. 
So the fries just came out of the air fryer, looking nice and crispy, and you want to work fast. And I heated up some marinara, so I'm going to pour a little bit on here. Now you could also just dip it in marinara, but I like to do this. And then of course, I've got my cheese sauce, my plant-based cheese sauce. And you want to make sure you warm this up too. And just drizzle some of that on there. Yum. And then I just top it off with some flat leaf parsley, just for a nice little color and for a little freshness. Let's sprinkle a little bit more of this on here. Yeah, now we're talking. All right, let's give it a taste. Fries number one, pizza fries. Oh, let's give these a try. Unbelievable. Mmm. It's a little spicy, just a little bit. That pizza seasoning has those uh, chili peppers in it, but I like it. Mmm. Oh yeah. So these are perfect as a snack. This will be perfect as the starch side of your 50-50 plate. You can have this with a big salad or a bunch of veggies. Perfect. Let's move on to number two. Okay, fries number two. This is going to be my Mexican Fiesta fries. And we're going to be using Mexican Fiesta seasoning. Same company. Ingredients in here are chili peppers, onion, tomato powder, paprika, cumin, garlic, cilantro, oregano, cayenne, and some lemon peel. So again, be generous. Give it a good stir. I think we need a little more. There we go, that's better. Okay, I'm gonna make sure these are all coated, then I'm gonna throw them in the air fryer, 400 degrees for 15 minutes. And I also want to mention, if you want your fries crispier than I have mine, then do it for 20 minutes. You could also do it with pre-baked potatoes, so don't feel like you have to do it from fresh. If you've got a bunch in your refrigerator, you can do the same thing. And you can also do it in your oven, just double the time. So these are all done. Just came out of the air fryer. And this is how I'm going to finish these off. First, I've got some of my plant-based cheese sauce. I've just got some jarred salsa here. I'm gonna put a couple spoonfuls in here and stir it around. And it just makes kind of like a queso kind of a cheese. And this is a mild salsa. You could use um, medium or hot. And then I'm just gonna pour some over the fries. Yum. And then to that, I'm gonna add some beans. I've just got some black beans here that I rinsed. So it's kind of like nachos, but on french fries. A little red onion. And I'm just keeping this very simple. You could put chopped tomato, you could put jalapenos, whatever you'd like. Um, but I'm just going to keep it simple. Add some cilantro. And that is it. Got our beautiful Fiesta fries. Let's give them a taste. And again, we have another look at our Mexican Fiesta fries. These were super easy. And like I said, you could do these in the oven if you wanted to, and you can be creative. Add whatever you want on these. These are for you to be creative with. So let's give these a taste. Let's see, I want to pick a good one. All right, and you definitely um, probably will need a fork. Get some of that sauce. Mm. You can hear the crunch. I did add a little tomato on there after all. It just looked, made it look really pretty. Two really simple, easy ways to make french fries. 
Now, if you've made it this far in the video, please comment below with fries and I'll know that you made it this far and you stuck with me to the end and I really appreciate it. And if you found value in this video, if you learned something or if you really like these recipes, then give me a thumbs up. I appreciate all your support and watching my videos and remember that all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals and they're good for the planet and what you put on your plate determines your fate. Until next time, thank you. Why do I have to say that? Of course they're gonna like it. That sounds dumb. No. I created, no I didn't. I mean I did, but if you're new to the mm. Perhaps if I can get this open, we'll be doing good. Okay.